Early in the morning, bend my deep bone to the ground. Early in the morning, bend my knee bone to the ground. Knee bones I can cry out, oh, knee bone, knee bones I can cry out, oh, Lord, knee bone bend, knee bone in the morning, oh, knee bone, knee bone in the wilderness, oh, God, knee bone bend. Ashe, this shall be God. Oh, knee bone in the shower. Oh, back the honor. Oh, true, you day. That's a well. Oh, true, oh, town. Oh, then chill and know how for going in the wilderness. Oh, for come from there, the story ground. Oh, thank you, thank you, God, for. Now we are still there, yeah. Now we are ancestors, been. Oh, the Igbo. Man, think. Man, think. Gola, Gizzi, Mendy, Tendi, a freak, a baby, oh, I am what Johnny Yamasi, Kosamo, create this door. Oh, I hold down the shalan in the book of them, see. This is a place for all the children to stand. Take it, take it, God. Well, now we will know how for join the power of the Gui. Ha! Right, John, today. Now, well, on us. But then, children, what a kind you know. Jacksonville, North Carolina, like the Jacksonville, Florida. Act like they're not see. But we see. And we grind your honor in the wilderness. Then I know I say, every tree what a grind in a grow like this year. Oh, that's still a wee. Because then it rude and thing. We blood, sweat, and tears. So then I understand how we can get in the tree. Then I understand how when we go into the water, we get it at all. Because the water to bring we, the water going to take we back. We study this show. Every day we go into the control. Oh, but what about them children? When they tear in the wilderness. But then, you know, think about them like a we. Then I know I say, the wilderness, the we, and that who we be, and that we be. Y'all are each and I dead people. Oh, you try for crack with teeth with them, come here and think, and tell them, for don't talk to them, you can't throw blood in every way. Then I say, hmm? Then we say, oh, great God, the chilling crack in it. What are we? Then we have for going on the where they be, and yet they have they crack your teeth, and show them. So start for going yonder. Just sometimes you go going yonder, the elders tell you for come up who one another. But I get yonder, the saw the rest of the people. And I crack my teeth so, and I say, no. You have to say, hey, y'all, how you doing? <laughs> when you go across the bridges. And I start thinking about those bridges and how every time a built bridge was engineered, somehow it engineered out parts of our cultural community in the Gullah Geechee Nation, on the Sea Islands, from Jacksonville, North Carolina, to Jacksonville, Florida, because no one thought about the legacy within the trees. And they definitely didn't think about us that prayed beneath them. And now those oak trees with that Spanish moss, that long beard hanging down, how it is a witness to our living legacy of sustainability. Before these bulldozers could make their way there, oh, wait a second, they didn't exist. There were no bulldozers. There were ancestral hands that cleared the lands, built the rice dikes for the Carolina gold, built the trunks and had the trunk minders. It was these hands that touched the roots and buried the trees that would shade us when we took a little break for a little while. So I realized that if I went to their places speaking this way, 
they just said, well, who's that? Sound like the rest of us. But when I've been coming in there and they crack my teeth like this, they say, who is that? And what is she saying? So we had to leave what they call the low country and start to unveil who we be as Kalagichis and help people to start to, as I like to say, overstand instead of understand. Because we've been down under a little bit too long. And this is not Australia. So I wanted people to start to catch on to legacy and land and forestry and what it means to us who are Gullah Geechee. They would think about the fields and the agriculture, but they didn't know how all of these are part of an ecosystem that has to be balanced, like our culture and our community. Everything is about the circle and how we interconnect with one another in that circle and about what we put out in that circle. And it is those circles that my ancestors, who are part of our Gullah Geechee Nation national flag, make up the body of our tree, the family tree human bodies inextricably tied, rooted into the soil. And from Sea Island soil grew Gullah Geechee souls that overstood that the tree is not just good to you when you cut it down, as we say, chop them for wood and things like that for warm you. But the trees help you when the storms come, not only in life, but we're literally in a hurricane zone. So why would we clear cut the trees? And then I said, but you know what? We have to have a clear cutting message that we did the wilderness, the wilderness to we. So when people start coming in and saying, oh, we want to talk about wildlife. We thought it was a party at first, the wildlife. Yes. And then we realized very quickly, no, they were more interested in the loggerhead turtles and the red foxes and the black bears. And they were interested even in the alligator that we've been a nap on their tail and things like that when we catch them. More so than they were intrigued or interested in the indigenous cultural community that had kept the land in its natural state that in their world, in the Western world, was called wild wherein to us it was called blessed. And so now we have the opportunities to bring those folks into our circle with we and try to root them in our culture, in our community, where if they look at our flag, they would see that the legacy of this is the fact that as we got here, we came across the water, which is that blue, also the indigo, that many read about that my ancestors were enslaved to work in. If you let them grow wild, they too grow into trees. But their energy, their power is within, and it gets released when that blue dye is placed around you for protection. And then if they were to look again, they would see that gold for that Carolina gold, for that rice, everything that everybody come here for the and thing like that. Nobody comes to our area and don't want to play the rice. They want to taste that part of the culture, but the true taste of it is a spiritual taste that nourishes you long after you leave. And that gold was also for what they called us, black gold, richness. And I tell people, but never forget the green on our flag, because that is for the land. And that green land is what I now am blessed to have the opportunity to fight for every day. And when I go out, Shona, oh, into the wood and take like all the rest of people to see. I get in my ancestors there, like this year. How do you feel when you come, come out the wilderness? Come out the wilderness, come out the wilderness. How do you feel when you come, come out the wilderness? Leaning on the Lord. Now when I be at home, I would hear that ringing. Because everybody would join in the suckle with the singing with the shouting, 
with the whole end upon who we are. And this shall land. It's going to get you anointed people of the Sea Island sand. And many people said, well, I hadn't heard of you when I went up Capitol Hill to create something that I think a few people in here know something about, a corridor, which is now the first national heritage area in America, number 37. That was the first to honor a living culture, the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor. So when I heard about this thing, said Corridor Connect, I figured, well, finally somebody recognized something that we all need to come together in a circle. And we can't just keep the wilderness and the forest for the creatures, for the Black Panthers. And believe me, that's my school mascot, so I love a Black Panther. I'm all about going out prowling if we're going for the right reason. So we can't let the rest of the world not enter this circle of what I say overstanding, that now is the time. We have no other time left to waste to have the wildlife like this. We need to protect the wildlife and the cultural heritage communities that have thrived, that have grown, because we have kept it not just wild, but we have kept it anointed. We have kept it blessed. We can say to our ancestors, our shame, that we stand, that we live here yet another day, another day amidst the trees where there's that beautiful sea island breeze, where there are those blessings that everyone in North Kakalaki, South Kakalaki, Georgia, and right of us as we would say Florida, can come to not only the islands on the seas, but they can journey with all of us and connect through the corridors where we all begin to understand that we are the wilderness, and the wilderness the we. How do you feel when you come? Come out the wilderness, come out the wilderness. Come out the wilderness, I felt like shouting when I come. Come out the wilderness, lead 